After a 3 a.m. wake up call and a two hour flight, we are at our first stop, which is Houston, Texas, which is actually where I'm from, where Paulo lived. We're here for 12 hours. Visiting family, both of our families, while we're here for a little layover. And then we are heading back to the airport tonight to go to a new continent for me, but and a, new a new country for us. Yes. So we're really excited, but first, let's go spend some time with the family. shaking so much just because I am trying to stand on this tram but uh, it is really hard to so normally this is the point that I'm super excited to board the plane but unfortunately uh, there's some storm in the area and we're having to actually hold boarding for a while. So we're just kind of sitting back here, um, kind of waiting for this to board the plane. But we can't do that yet because uh, these storms. So we're just going to hold short for now and hopefully we'll get to board in the next 30 minutes. And also sorry for the mess going on here. Um, I didn't realize I had it messed up until I was looking at the video. Alrighty, it seems like we're gonna board pretty soon, so let's go to the gate now. Thank you, have a nice one. Have a nice one. Got it. Ladies and gentlemen, to United Flight 847 going to So, we are on United. If you see it in the next row or next to a window exit, kindly review the safety card and seat pocket and Alright, so we are on United Polaris and uh, Melanie is in front of me and I'm a row behind her. We both have windows and this is a pretty luxurious light place. Uh, yeah, we, uh, we have a lot of room. Don't knock the video. Hi. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to show you what, what's kind of provided right now. So first off, memory foam pillow. Nice color too. And this fancy Saks Fifth Avenue blanket, which is going to become useful, very useful later. Um, then you have an additional blanket, which I'm assuming is like the lining for the seat. I guess you could use it as that. And then you have another additional pillow, which is white, and I think it just sits there. But my favorite thing that you can actually take home is this little away thing, um, which has, I haven't opened it yet. Well, actually, let's open it, why not? And there you have everything you can possibly need in a flight, and it is sponsored by Away. And we can take these little things, and I'm obviously going to use it for uh, media stuff and whatever else I want to use it for. In this seat, you also get a table, obviously. This seat lays all the way back and flat, which is amazing. Um, you get a little storage compartment right here, which you can store stuff and just don't forget about it. 
And then under the footrest, which actually becomes very useful along the flight, um, you get a little storage compartment where you could actually put your backpack and, um, and anything you may want and may fit. This screen is super huge and there's actually a lot of things you can do here. Right, so I know this is kind of a mess, but look at the size of the screen. Tell me, uh, it is touch screen, so you can actually be super interactive with it. And it seems to be pretty quick and pretty fast, pretty interactive. And of course, you can watch movies, have the flight map, which is probably what I'm gonna have. And um, yeah, I'm pretty excited for this flight. Hey, Mel. What's up? You excited? This is her little apartment suite. Not really apartment suite. It's more like just a suite. Um, and this is mine compared to hers. You get a neat little seatbelt here. And uh, it's actually pretty neat. The, the only bad thing about this seat, which is not a big deal, but it can make a difference is that I have this wall here, window here, and then window way back here, which if we lay down the seat then we can probably see, but yeah, it's kind of weird. But let me show you a little bit more of this uh, area real quick. Good evening, how uh, are you? Doing good, how are you? Welcome. May good. I offer you some water or sparkling wine? Oh good, wine, please. Wine? Yeah, thank you. Good choice. Thank you. Enjoy. <laughs> thank you so much. And it also gives you sparkling wine at the beginning of the flight. So one cool thing is uh, this table I actually am a fan of because it lays down flat just like that. Also becomes a wide table, which is great for like watch or computer and stuff. Not quite gonna use it yet, but I will. Ladies and gentlemen, we have everyone on board. We're ready to go. It's time to take off. So of course I had to go with champagne and uh, so as a snack, they gave me uh, this right here. Good start. So for dinner, I opted for the seared salmon, which looks really delicious right now. It comes along with a salad, which you can dress and pretty much do yourself. Uh -oh. yeah. Make it taste how you want it. And then it comes with bread, another piece of bread with butter, and it looks really good. But I'm gonna dive in and see this food, and then dessert comes after, which should be really good. All right, so I just woke up from, uh, I think it was like five hours now, or just sleep. I gotta say, my bed is relaxing. Gave me a little bit of time to go to sleep, but it was still good, and I slept pretty well. I only need that too. Uh, now we are getting to see the sunrise as it comes out. Alright, so breakfast is here. Uh, I got the cinnamon French toast which uh, actually looks really good. It's accompanied by some fruit and other bread. Uh, and I got coffee this time around. And then they give you this Greek yogurt, uh, strawberry, which is my favorite. So pretty excited for this. Um, nothing too fancy, but fancy enough for me. And uh, yeah, I like it.
So, we've made it to Chile, uh, Santiago, Chile, to be more specific. Uh, and, uh... We basically went from the hotel to, er, we went from the airport to our hotel to go ahead and drop off our stuff. But, when we got to the front desk, they're like, oh, well, we can get you checked in early. It's literally not even nine o'clock yet. So we already have our room. He upgraded us. He, I think anyone gets free cookies, but he gave us um, a complimentary welcome drinks for both of us. And um, he also is calling down to the breakfast to make sure that we can still go today, even though we aren't even supposed to check in until 3 p.m. this afternoon. That's he pretty was, good. The nicest guy. His name is Gonzalo. If you ever, if you're ever in the Double Tree downtown Santiago, make sure to go straight to him because he's a great person and, uh, and you know he was friendly. What's even more wild is this entire stay was paid for with credit card points. So I have the Hilton honors card and I saved up enough points and got two nights here for free. So we are staying in this hotel completely free, free breakfast, free upgrade, like my mind is just blown. It just comes to show you how far and beneficial credit cards can be. Uh, they can be dangerous if you don't use them correctly. It is great for when you use it correctly and uh, you can use points to to pay for this and I've paid for flights with point and after a quick change of shirts <laughs> no not really I I just took my jacket off but Melanie didn't change her shirt <laughs> we're gonna do a quick tour as you walk in the front door you have the bathroom on your right which has this walk-in shower it's kind of a weird like door situation mirror and all of the essentials you've got nice little um shampoo and conditioner that you might need and then we will go up here you have a full-sized mirror over here and then a little closet over here um there's even some slippers And we have a little mini bar situation over here. This is not included, but it is nice if you don't want to leave your hotel room. You got a safe and lots of other different little amenities over here. And then we walk into the main room, which has a king size bed that is Left too. You've got a little lounger right here, and then views of downtown. You have a desk over here um, in case you need to get some things done. And um, last but not least, there is a uh, little TV to watch some TV if we just want to relax at the end of the day. But yeah, that's basically. And with that, that about wraps this video up. We're going to create three different videos on this Chile trip. This is part one of three. Hope you enjoyed kind of a uh, overall look at United Polaris uh, first class. Hope you enjoyed our little tour of this fantastic room. We'll see you next week. Peace.